Yo guys, Glenn Shirish here with another review for you all. Today's review is on the Soto Kamen Rider Build, Build One Case. The 12th pack version. There is also a uh, set box version which has all six figures in the line. Or in this case, half bodies. But, when I tried to find the set version of this, it got sold out on Amiyami. But I don't mind it since the entire set of this is based on build. And it's various forms. Whether it's best match or trial form, this set encompasses it. So let's see what I've gotten in this one. Alright, we have two of Rabbit, three of Tank, two of Diamond, two of Gorilla, two of Harenizumi, or Harenezumi, and one of Sojiki. And the boxes look like this. It also details which are in the lineup. And it advertises that you can change it up. Basically. So this is for Rabbit Tank. Gonna put these to the side. These for Gorilla Mond. And these is for these two are for Hara Nezumi Tank and Rabbit Sojiki. Now let me get these back into uh the box and open up rabbit tank on screen you get a ramen candy and the half body for uh, Bill's rabbit tank form. And the sticker sheet for it. As for the Ramine candy, I'm gonna try it out on uh, camera. So give me a minute. Sweet as heck. But I love it. And for tank. Pretty much the same though. It has the half of the body that, that governs tank. As well as the loose head part for tank. And part of the dummy body. In any case, I'm going to get those assembled. And I'll be back with it uh, soon. See you guys there. And we're back. Sorry, it took quite a bit. But here are all the four official figures in the line. Not counting this... Black dummy body of uh, Rabbit Tank. Which is hollow at the back. And has no articulation whatsoever. There are also like dummy parts for the... Uh, for the dummy body if you would use them with uh, Rabbit. Or not any other of the Soto figures. But I'm going to put these aside. These also come with stands. Though the sets that uh, has stands are... Haranezumi and Gorilla. Oh god. This 
These two have stands. And bases. But essentially... You're good. You're well off using using the stand, the bases on themselves, since the the stands over here are best suited for aerial poses, as I will demonstrate you soon. I'm going to go over your articulation for one figure, cause most of the articulation is the same, but I will go over the fi figures in detail. Starting off with Rabbit Tank. This is the uh, base that you have for Rabbit Tank. And the sticker comes with Rabbit. Ah, god dang it. Focus! Sometimes I hate autofocus, but whatever. This is the uh, base for Rabbit Tank. And I'm going to put Rabbit Tank back into a neutral position. As you see, this figure is pretty well detailed, for the most part. And, mo and, and almost most of the detail is done by paint. Like the little bit of the, the lens here, here on the head, paint it. The red and blue parts, paint it. The eyes are a sticker though. So is this part of the build driver. The bottles are not painted in. And the leg parts, obviously, are stickers. And you need to be really ca careful, because these can peel. Anyways, for articulation, we have... The head being able to do a full 360, as well as looking down slightly. The shoulder armor is basically independent, so... You can basically uh, pull out the arm and not not much will happen with the shoulder armor. The arm can go upward like this. Front to this. Pretty much 360. It has a nice elbow bend. You can also turn the elbow around 360 degrees, but why would you do that? Same with the other arm, so let's put this one into the pose that he usually does. Though the hand will not be is not able to be open or swapped because well it's a solid piece. The legs can do the splits, though not quite. Though the Bottle holder is also uh, articulated, so it can do the splits, so you just have to move away a little bit. Wait, let me get this done. The leg can also go forwards, a little bit backwards, in and out. It can have a solid, it has a bend at the knee. And the feet are on a ball joint, so you can rock them slightly, you can point them slightly down, turn them around full 360, and that's about it. I'm going to make sure that I can put him into the pose that uh, basically sums up him after the henshin. Let me get the base, fix the sticker here, put him in the base. Oh, yeah, you can put them in the base by this uh, square peg here. Though, what is also an option is that you remove him from the stand. Gonna see if this needs fixing. Bring in the base. Pop it in. And we'll put him 
into the position for the Voltec finish. Oh yeah, the legs can also uh, so turn slightly. And basically you can peg it in like this. And there we go. Let's focus in. Yeah, that looks amazing. That looks great. And here we go to take a look at Gorilla Mond. Time to focus in slightly. God dang it. Focus you. Uh, here we go. The Gorilla Mont set comes with the drill crusher in uh, drill mode. Or sword mode or whatever you would call it. I put it in the right hand or the right knuckle part of the gorilla part, part, or the gorilla half body, because you see the sticker detailing from there. Because from the back, it's hollow. There are some nice details, such as the uh, the diamond sticker here. However, it can peel off, so. You're probably going to have to uh, put this in place many, many times. This is also the figure that requires a lot of detail. Or at least one of them. Like, this is a sticker. This is a sticker. The belt driver is a sticker. The diamond parts here are a sticker. The eyes are a sticker. And, of course, like usual, the legs are stickers. Though... You could probably paint the legs. But what you also notice is that mo most of these stickers are hollow foil. With one exception. Let me get no, that thing on the base. Let's take a look at... Hadenizumi Tank. This is one of those uh, figures that doesn't have much stickering. Aside from the eyes and the legs, as well as the belt driver. However, what's pe peculiar is that the Haranesmi uh, leg has just regular white stickers. As opposed to the hollow foil stickers that is comprised for the tank part. And I do like the form, if I say so myself. You, bet, you have this a little bit of a more longer shoulder armor part. And this brass knuckle-like bald fist. With a lot of spike, spice coming from it. Since Harenesumi means needle mouse and ba or hedgehog. Now for the final figure in the line. Technically final figure, but... We'll get to the gimmick. Is Rabbit Sojiki. Come on, focus! Ah, there we go. This comes with the Drill Crusher in gun mode. And is basically a lighter shade of blue, cyanish, sky blue. And this is one of the few figures that is, has more uh, sticker detailing. Like the eyes here. The eyes are in two parts. You have this part here. And the part that looks like the vacuum cleaner. The back side of the vacuum cleaner has, uh, is basically sticker detail. Which can peel off. The arm here is stickers. Though you could probably paint it up. And the legs are stickers. You can also elongate the... Uh, wait, where's that thing? Oh, here. 
This part can pop off, but uh, you can easily pop it back in. And this is supposed to simulate the hose of the... No, it's, this is supposed to simulate the hose on the... on the vacuum cleaner, but... It doesn't uh, translate that well if you uh, move the... the figure around. Though you also have another part. And it's an extension for the... Uh, where is it? I hope I didn't uh, drop that part. Let me check. Oh, oh, there it is. This extension part for the uh, for the vacuum. So you can basically make the vacuum part longer. For like the Voltac finish or Voltac attack. But you can also do another thing with these figures. Much like the Bottle Change Rider series. Oh hey! The build driver also has a bit of articulation. Anyway, we'll take the figure off the stand. Take off the drill crusher gun mode. We'll pop off the the Sojiki part, then pop off the rabbit leg, pop off the rabbit uh, body part, pop off this part from the rabbit, and we're gonna replace it with our parts. Starting off with this white piece. Oh. Seems like the lack has uh, popped off. So I'll pop this in on the other side, on the other feet. Move this out of the way, pop it on, in. And we'll pop in In the body, make sure the sticker is lined up correctly. And pop in the faceplate. And prop it on the stand. And here we have Haranezumi Sojiki. Or Hedgehog Cleaner Air, or whatever you would, would, would like to use for a term. I'm sorry for the stuttering, but I'm just really, really excited about these figures. They are so great! Sure, they may be smaller compared to the uh, Bottle Change or Build Change series. But, they pull off the gimmick well, and with added articulation in the heads and the uh, waist. Like you see here. And these basically sell for what uh, you would have retail. Give or take 100 yen extra. But I really love these. So my verdict on the Soto Kamen Rider Build Volume 1. Or Build 1 as it's called. I recommend it. If you don't like the uh, look of the Bottle, Ch Bottle Rider series. So, or the lack of articulation of them. Get these. You can get them as a set. Which has the Rabbit Tank. The Gorillamont uh, set and the Haranezumi and Stojiki full half bodies. So you would basically have these four. Or, well, these three. At the very least. 
if you want to get the 12 pack box, do keep in mind, the odds are that you will not get the same combination as I have. Because another reviewer, known as Leon Channel, basically had three rabbits that's and only one Haranizumi. Whereas I had three tanks and only one Sojiki, but two Haranizumi. So keep that in mind. If you're not a big fan of these, in 2018, in uh, February, I think, we'll get the Kamen Rider Build Rabbit Tank figure arts. Which will not have the gimmick, but it will look great. Also for way cheaper than the uh, Build Rider ser Change Series figure. But if you would want these, I definitely recommend them. A+. This is Glenn Shirishi here saying, stay sane and stay entertained. Peace!